Peter Parker The Spectacular Spider-Man No. 110 by Peter David, which was published in 1986, witnessed an epic confrontation between Spider-Man and Daredevil, the man without fear. The book opens with Spider-Man in his black suit, going after the villain known as Sin Eater, but doesn't notice that Daredevil is following him, and his spider sense does not alert him either. Spider remembers Barry Brandt, his first love interest. He was happy that a girl like Betty cared about him, but the shadow of Spider-Man came between them and drove her into the arms of another man. They eventually became friends, but she always felt that Peter hid some part of his life from her. But now, Peter is coming out of the shadows to avenge her death at the hands of the Sin Eater, and nothing is going to save him. Meanwhile, at the home of J. Jonah Jameson, where Betty has been staying, the Sin Eater stands with a shotgun after he tried to shoot her but missed, remarking that it's the first time he ever missed, yet the Lord's hand must have guided her to seek cover under the desk. Sin Eater then grabs Betty and asks her if she works for Jameson, and she says yes. He says that it's a shame for her to work with a cursed newspaper publisher like Jameson, and decides to deliver him a message by killing her. While trying to choke her with his shotgun, Betty asks Sin Eater why he wants to kill her, and he says that she is nothing, but he wants to deliver a message to Jameson before telling her about his other crimes. Betty then manages to get a hold of a letter opener and stabs Sin Eater in his leg. Enraged, the villain is about to kill Betty when Spidey breaks into the place, forcing Sin Eater to push the girl in his direction to distract him. Shocked that Betty is still alive, Spidey quickly snatches the shotgun and breaks it before engaging the villain, who says that they are alike as they deal justice in their own ways, but Spidey pounds on Sin Eater, remarking that they are nothing alike. Spidey protects innocents while Sin Eater slaughters them and leaves a trail of bodies behind him, but no more. Spidey beats the villain some more before taking his mask off, revealing his true identity as Stanley Carter. Spidey doesn't accept Carter's apology and pounds on him again, with Betty being terrified that Spidey is going to kill him. Daredevil, however, interferes and tells Spidey to back off before preventing him from finishing Carter. Daredevil tells Spidey that he is the only threat around, but the enraged Spidey doesn't back off and tells Daredevil to get out of his way before tossing him out of the window after he refuses to comply. Daredevil angers Spidey when he tells him that it is not manly to pummel an unconscious foe, forcing Spidey to do as Daredevil planned, and goes after him. Daredevil remarks that anger makes Spidey sloppy, otherwise he would be finished. He manages to punch Spidey before avoiding his punch. The enraged Spidey tells Daredevil not to compare him to Sin Eater, as he uses his powers to protect people and not to kill them. Daredevil then says that he read the papers and knew everything about Spidey, and he is going to take him down, before purposely tossing half of his club at Spidey, who manages to catch it, thanks to his spider sense. At that moment, Daredevil strikes Spidey from behind with the other half of the club, before pounding on him, remarking that he has been lucky that he managed to distract his spider sense, and that he can't give him any chance to catch his breath. Finally, Daredevil manages to knock Spider-Man out cold, remarking that after a dozen punches, he is barely out, and that the only reason he beat him was that he was emotionally worked up. Later on, and upon hearing that Stanley Carter might be found not responsible for his crimes, the crowds gather outside the police station, where Carter is detained and begin protesting. Spidey arrives to take photos when he is interrupted by the arrival of Daredevil. With his spider sense working this time, Spidey demands to know why Daredevil called him a criminal, and Daredevil says that even if he is a criminal like Stan Carter, he still deserves a day at court. 
Spidey, however, says that he is not Carter, but Daredevil says not in his eyes. When they are both interrupted by the crowds down the street trying to get into the police station and kill Carter, the police officers try to hold the crowds off while they transfer Carter to Rikers Island. Things, however, did not go the way the police wanted when the father of one of Carter's victims sees him and leads the crowds to attack, forcing Daredevil to interfere, but finds himself surrounded and overwhelmed. One of the protesters manages to hit Daredevil on his head, who says that his radar sense is completely buggled, with Spidey remarking that he is going to close his eyes and not to interfere, and let Daredevil save Carter from the angry mobs. Daredevil desperately asks Spidey for help, but Spidey says that he lost many loved ones to criminals, and that he uses his powers to protect innocents, and not animals like Carter, but at that moment, Daredevil calls Peter by his name. Spidey finally rushes to help Daredevil, and saves Carter from the hands of the mobs, before taking them both away. Minutes later, the crowd is dispersed, and Carter is safely loaded into a truck. Daredevil then apologizes for shouting out like that, but Spidey says that no harm is done. Although he never expected the man without fear to panic, Daredevil says that it wasn't fear but desperation. He then shocks Spidey when he tells him that he is actually the blind Matt Murdock. Later on at Peter's apartment, Peter is amazed that Matt knew he was Spider-Man just by hearing his heart beat as Peter and then as Spidey. Matt then thanks Peter again for saving him from the angry mobs. This easily proves that Daredevil is one of the greatest fighters in comics universe, being able to take on and defeat the likes of Spider-Man, who is known for his super strength, reactions, and agility. Hope you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.